All right, the highlight of the day, guys, is for Tuesday, June 11th. It's another intermarket divergence. Number one, we open up the session, 50% bullish in the room, 50%. You're going to imagine 16, 17 points above yesterday's close in the ES. The whole world's bullish. And they rally. Ground zero is important. When they get through 07, it's like, be careful being long, staying long. The first indication there was an intermarket divergence came between the NASDAQ and the S&P. Let me show you what, how, where, when. And, and you don't see this now. You see this in real time. It's the only way it's going to help you and keep you off the wrong side, maybe on the right side, higher probability. Now, this is the NASDAQ on the right. This is the ES on the left. I want you to look for – let me rewind time here a little bit. Let's go back to right after the open. Okay, it's bullish. We run up, trade 10, 11. Here on the right is the NASDAQ, right? So they run up, do the same thing. Remember, they're cousins. They're both stock indexes. They're going to run up together. And um, the S&P makes highs right in there. Watch this. Watch this on the top left. All right? They come off, and then, bam, they rally right through the highs and make higher highs up there. In the same sequence, the NASDAQ makes highs right there, which are these highs right there. It comes off and rallies, but cannot make a higher high in there. Now, again, we don't know if it's going to rally and go up. All we do is in spot is the fact that the ES did something in this particular moment that the NASDAQ didn't. Can you make this call, sell it, and hold it? Never that easy, but you could start to stack probabilities. You could start to see a, um, a head fake through the middle of these 09s that get people trapped long. Everybody's bullish, and people have trouble catching the transitional moment after the market's overwhelmingly bullish or bearish, and this was a transitional uh, moment. And it was going to be hard for the market to regain a lot of strength when it breaks through 07 like it wasn't even there. When it goes through some good support areas like they're not even there. That's what's good about good support areas. They're good even if they don't work, if you could disqualify them. On this sell-off in here, including this sell-off in here, if you guys remember, we had aggressive selling that got the market to actually go and stay down. That's important to note. But that was an intermarket divergence between the NASDAQ. Failure to make a high in here through that high. There was another instance that this happened. And it was a little further away from the open. And it was the NASDAQ that got overbought and overextended and made higher highs. And the ES could not. And that was, I believe, right here before. Nine o'clock or right after nine, right after nine. Take a look at this pattern. You make a high in there and then make a higher high up to 86 half in there in the NASDAQ. Well, that particular right before nine o'clock is in there. Right before nine o'clock in the ES is in here. So this high over here is this, these highs over there. The NASDAQ has a nice move through this high all the way up to 86 half. Does the ES get through that yellow band? No, they stop them right there, or they start to stop them right there. And again, you start to look at the consolidation box in here. They start to slip through the center of it. They get bearish, and this was another moment when selling aggressive seller or selling on an order flow, whether it's an audio alert or edge zones, they aggressively hit bids and got it to go lower. So when they come in hitting it, they get them to, the bids to go offer and they hold them. Bids to go offer, they hold them. Bids to go offer, hold them. So two intermarket divergences within the first like 35 or 40 minutes, whether it got you on the right side or kept you off the wrong side. But when you overlap that with the fact that we opened up, not surprisingly bullish, you should have been bullish. There's nothing wrong with being bullish. And we rallied after the open. Everybody's got Nine their two even. thumbs up. 
And I don't mean guys that are Nine smart like guys Nine in this room. I'm talking about most of the rest of the world. They got two thumbs up. Man, it was bullish. We rallied. I didn't get it, but I'm going to buy a pullback. They bought a pullback, all right. They bought a pullback in here. They bought a pullback in here. They're still buying pullbacks, and we're trading 17 points below where we opened and 20 points below the high because they don't know when the market makes a transition and doesn't do what it's supposed to do.